Hi everyone, my name is Rose, and today I was gonna do this get ready with me style, but then I'm like, I always take too long to do my makeup, so get ready with me style, I always don't stay on track very well, so I'm just, I'm just gonna talk, and today I, I didn't even plan, uh, I didn't think I was gonna like my uh, makeup today. I was trying a whole bunch of things. I was mixing a whole bunch of things. I was like, oh, these colors are done mixing. They're done look muddy. And I'm not going to like it. But I actually turned out really nice. So I was like, okay. It has made it a little bit because my iPad was charging. But it's still nice, very orangey today. I don't know I'm wearing indigo. I'm wearing an indigo dress today. But, um, like most of my glasses is like blue or gray. So it's like, I wear a lot of blue. So it's like, whatever. But today I'm talking about a lot of things. A little bit. Okay. A, a little bit about a lot of things kind of thing. So, as I've been saying for, in most of my videos, because lots of my videos are part of Japan, I am going to be moving at the end of May about, that's, I don't have exact dates, but around the end of May is when I'm moving. I think I have decided, I was playing around with a couple ideas, but I think I have decided that since I don't know what my schedule is going to be after I move, I'm going to, it's going to be a lot of adjustment, and I don't know how, like, sound-wise and all that stuff is going to be. I have decided to, uh stop making videos after after I move at least for a little while I might come back but as of right now I've said I'm I'm still gonna make videos until I move so it's till the end of May I may if I have some videos that I've like filmed but I haven't like posted them yet I, I'll like do that like because I keep forgetting to uh, do my inventory videos but like as of right now I think think I'm just gonna stop doing YouTube for a while after I move. Maybe permanently, maybe not. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna stop making videos. I always get a little bit of anxiety making videos too. Like, whenever I, like, sit down to film, I always, like, have to do deep breaths before I do it because I always get so nervous. I'm like, oh my god. And right now I feel, like, really twitchy. So I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I already had a walk today, but I think I might go for another walk because... Whenever I get really twitchy, I just need to go for a walk, and physical activity just helps so much for me. So, like, I'm near. <sighs> but, at least it's not raining. It was, like, raining real bad this morning. Not on my walk. On my walk, it was, like, in between rainy and drizzling. But, like, it's been raining off and on today. And, like, yesterday. It's been, like, really dreary. But, okay, so, I'm gonna stop making videos. But, my... Right now I have three projects going. I have Project 10 Uses, I have my nail polish rotation, and I have Beauty A to Z, which is a fantastic ladies uh, thing. When I move, I'm going to be stopping Project 10 Uses. I've been doing it for a while. I think in another year I will have to restructure it in a way to make it fit. Because I'm almost done with all my eyeshadow palettes. And I'm almost done... Like, with all my eyeliner pencils, I was, like, I could throw in random things. I'm, like, still, I just, I still haven't done a lot of my lip products in that project. Because I was eventually going to try to rotate through everything. But I think something, I think I might do another project later after I, after I just move in and stuff. I think I might try to figure out something to do that's, like, more, like, Oh, I try to use, like, I pick out a couple items to use, like, um, for a month or two and see how many times I use it. Or, like, try to hit, like, a smaller goal, like, three or five uses on things. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to figure that out way later on. But, so, I'm going to end Project 10 uses after I move. So, is that? And then Beauty A to Z and um, my nail polish rotation. I want to keep those going. I may take a break. Like a month. I may not post an update for a month for each of those. Just because I'm going to be moving. So there'll be a lot of stress. I'm going to be adjusting. So I may just take a little break for a month. For those two. But those will move to my Instagram. Which I rarely post. <laughs> I like 
post on my Instagram once in a while. I mostly post makeup looks. I don't really post panning on my Instagram. It's mostly like, oh, I did this pretty look that I'm really proud of. I'm going to put this on Instagram kind of thing. So, like, it's mostly makeup looks, and I don't post regularly at all. Like, sometimes there's, like, months in between my posts, and sometimes I post. I know for a while I tried to post two times a week, but I just forget too much. But at Beauty to Z and my nail polish rotation, those will move to my Instagram, which I think is linked in my, on my channel page, but I'll link it in this video too, although I don't know how that will help you. Oh, if you're logged in on your computer, I guess, on Instagram, you could, like, follow me, because I think I am logged in, because it's easier to want to have links in YouTube videos if people, like, link, they link to their Instagram, I'm like, how am I to get from my computer to my phone? But I, but, like, yeah. So those two projects will keep going, hopefully. I mean, if I just keep if I, like, after I move, I, I'm not able to wear makeup that much. And, like, I feel like the project's not really doing anything. Then I might, like, just be like, okay, I'm done. Make an end post and, like, that. But right now, those two, I'm hopefully to continue to go and do. I'll just move them to Instagram. Hopefully I can remember to post every month. But, yeah. And then... Is there any, is there other things I want to talk about? I think there was. Um, but I can't, kind of can't remember. And my, oh yeah, my inventory videos, I was going to do like, try to do every category. But I think I might just stop doing them. I still want to do my palettes. Which I just, I just made uh, a yes style order. But it's one of those that you have to wait. It's like, doesn't have like, right away shipping. It's like, you have to wait a little bit. So I won't get it for like probably around a month maybe a little more but I'm fine with that but like so I just made that but that has two palettes so I'm no wait until like those come in but I want to do my palettes and then I think I might not do any more even though because I have I've been doing them I've done most of them although I keep forgetting to post them like I, I upload them and then I like fill out this description box and then I just forget to post them because I, I don't have them written down on my little calendar thing that I have. I just, I just forget. So, um, I'm probably to, like, if the end of May comes, I still have some of those videos that I haven't posted yet. I'm probably to post them. I don't know if I'm going to just do it all at once or if I'm going to try to, like, space it out. I may try both. I'll probably forget. So I might just do a big dump at the end. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But we'll see. I mean, if I have videos, might as well just post them because they're already on there. But yeah. And like some of them I feel like are now not accurate. Even though I was trying to like wait until I got things in that I know is that I get in. Because I, like, I was going to do both of my blush ones. I was going to do two, do two blush ones. A powder and a cream. And I filmed the cream one. And then one of the cr cream clean ones that I was gonna get rid of. I was gonna declutter it. I actually <laughs> want I tried it again and it was like so so on my cheeks. But I tried it on my lips too. And I've used it like four I, I I ate potato chips. It was on my lips today. But I ate some potato chips and I think it's gone now. <laughs> I was like I'm hungry I need to eat something and I was eating potato chips because I didn't want to cook food because that's been my life. I've been very stressed out lately. Uh, packing has not been going good so I've been stressed. I've been not wanting to cook but yeah. So yeah I had it on my lips earlier but I think it's all gone. But um I would put more on but my lips are very dry and it's like a matte thing so like yeah but I really like it on my lips. And I've used it like four more times since like actually trying it at one extra time. So like I've been reaching for it for my lips. I mean not really on my cheeks. I did use it on my cheeks today mixed with another blush. I mixed. I'm talking about this uh, Profusion one. The Bellini one. That's the one I was at Declare by. And I mixed these two today. I did like 
two parts this to like one part this kind of thing. Or like did two dots of that and then whatever, you know? Which I think it looks okay today. I want something like orangey because it was a do this orangey eye look that I used the green on my I used this like dark green but the green like went away like as a deepening shade but I don't know so what was I saying I totally lost my train of thought oh the cream blush video and and now I, I was in Ulta because I was to use I was to get two of the things two of the four things that I'm gonna buy before I move. So I got those two and I used a coupon because it was the two more expensive things. And then I used the five dollars off of twenty five because both of those together were like over twenty five. It was like thirty I think for both the two things that I was to get. So I think it was like seventeen plus twelve. So, yeah, I used that, and then I saw this cream blush that I kind of really want, so I'm like, oh, I kind of really want that now. So, I don't know, I don't know. It looks, it looks so pretty when I was watching it, I'm like, it's only $12, maybe, maybe I'll try it. I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm leaning towards getting it, so we'll see, we'll see. It's not really, I think it might be new, because it's not really, they're not really on new videos, it's from Alta Beauty. So, and it's like a bright yellowy orange and I'm kind of like really intrigued by it. Maybe I'll hate it, but I want to try it. <laughs> I don't think it, it uh, is close to anything, any of the blushes I already own. I think the closest it would be to would be either the two uh, Profusion ones or uh, Milani Luminoso. Like it might be close to one of those. I mean, all three of those are kind of very different from each other, too, so... And the perforation ones I'm at, and while the Ulta Beauty one is not, it has glitter. <laughs> it has, like, shimmery or glittery stuff. And so, like, yeah. Anything else I want to say? Um... Thank you to all of you who has been watching my content, who has, like left comments because every comment means a lot even though I'm always scared that my comments is going to go away again because I lost my comments twice and that's why I have like my comments on I need to uh, be approved because otherwise my YouTube doesn't let me have comments but thank you to everyone who's left comments who's watched my videos who's like subscribed to me thank you to all of you and it was, has been fun. I mean, I think I, when I went back to YouTube, because I, I did some videos a long, long time ago where I don't even know. Like, I that person is not me. It, my, my, like, if you go scroll to the bottom of my, or you could just, on uh, YouTube, you can always just do oldest to newest on the, on the video little, because you can organize it a couple different ways or whatever. I don't remember all the ways, but... If you watch some of those videos, those are from forever ago, and I don't even know that person anymore. I'm like, I, I kind of know her, but I'm a different person now. And I think I'm always changing. I'm not going to private any of my videos at all, like, ever. Because even though I may change as a person, this was still who I am n at, at this moment. And this is how I feel at these moments. Uh... And I feel like, I don't mind looking back and seeing how I've grown. Because I feel like if you don't grow, that's kind of like weird. I'm always changing, I'm always growing, I'm always being like different. I'm always going to like different things. I'm always like, I'm a tide. I grow in and out and I just, a little bit of everything. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. My brain is very much a bouncy ball right now and it, it can't stay still. And I'm like trying to follow a, a, a path, but it's like, no, I'm not go here, here. And I'm like, I can't, I can't focus right now. I am also overheating. It's been very hot today. It's like finally getting warm. Like, it's like 65 out, so it's like very hot. 
it's not that warm outside, but inside it's like 70 degrees, and I'm like, anything over 70, and I start sweating, I'm like, and that's a Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. I think maybe 20 Celsius, I don't know. If I had to guess, it would be around 20, but it probably is not. <laughs> <coughs> Anything else I want to say? I think I covered everything. But thank you all for watching my videos. And maybe I'll see you again sometime. Or, well, you see me on Instagram. So, like, you won't, like, not see me. You just won't hear me. You won't hear my weird voice that took me a while to get used to hearing when I was start doing these videos. I, I still am not confident in my voice. I don't really like my voice. I'm very lispy and I do have learning disabilities it's not it's not really assigned I went through tests to try to get me to be assigned a learning disability but like it never pinpointed so it's just like broad term I have learning disabilities I don't know what they are but I have them is it my IEP <laughs> but yeah I think I might have ADHD so I want to get tested for that eventually but I'm gonna be moving I'm gonna be changing states and I think going through all that I just need to wait till I'm all settled and like actually get diagnosis you know I don't want to go the medication route hopefully because medications have always even as a little kid when I was first went to special ed special education um in like halfway through first grade because I used to throw pencils at people and I used to be more on the beady side, the behavior disorder side when I was younger. But then uh, I think a lot of the medication they started me on made me really crazy too. So then I went more LD, learning disability side, when, as I got older. But I was in special education from like halfway through first grade all the way through high school. Never went to college, didn't go to college. Don't think it's for me, but yeah. But I was on the short breaths. I don't know how it is in other countries with the whole special disabilities, the um, not disabilities, special education versus like regular education in other countries. I've only ever lived in America. I've never even been to another country, although I really want to go to Italy. Although I'm being really bad at Italian, I'm feeling very hard to like learn it right now because like, it's getting to the point where things are just getting very hard for me and I've never been good with spelling. I've always got my letters mixed up and it's just getting to the point where I'm getting so many words confused with each other that I'm like, oh, this word and this word. Like if I don't look at them, there's like one letter difference. But to my brain sees the same word, and then it's like, oh wait, I need to take like a whole minute, to, a whole 60 seconds to actually look at these words and actually be able to know the difference between these words, because <laughs> otherwise I don't see it. But yeah, um, I don't know. So hopefully I can get a diagnosis of ADHD eventually, but every single medication I've ever been on has always had really bad side effects for me. I've like thrown up constantly from some. I've put holes in the walls from some because of my because of anger outbursts from some. Like I always have really bad reactions to medication. So I try to take as little medication as possible. The only medication I haven't had bad reactions to is my abutero inhaler that I've been on since I was like I got diagnosed at six weeks old. So like that's the only thing I've really taken all my life. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm going to leave before I just ramble on about I don't know what else. So, bye. <laughs>